What's up everybody, this is Dax McClellan, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can overcome your fear of ruining a tattoo portrait. Because I feel like there's a lot of tattoo artists out there that fear ruining a portrait, and they don't wanna tattoo a portrait like those gremlin looking portraits that you see on tattoo fails, okay? So I'm gonna give you three tips right now that you can apply now. Number one, do your research and educate yourself on how to do a portrait and how others do them, okay? You gotta know the, number one, you gotta know the benefits of being able to do portraits, okay? It's gonna build your confidence with all other areas of tattooing and it's gonna make other people that come into the shop for any type of tattoo trust you more than anybody else because for some reason um, they perceive us on a higher value level when we do portraits. It's like a, a magical unicorn. Okay, um, another thing you're gonna have to do is stop making excuses. You're gonna have to eliminate all fucking excuses as to why you don't do portraits, okay? Any tattoo artist can benefit from being able to do portraits and you're doing a disservice to your clients by not being able to do portraits, okay? Excuses don't make fucking results. Get that through your head. Another thing is you gotta invest money into some advanced training courses for portraits or into a mentor. Because when you invest into yourself, you take it more serious. And that's what you need to do. Most times when people get something for free, they don't take it serious because they got it for free. But if you paid for it, I bet you would take it more serious. Okay, so tip two. Practice drawing them. This is a no-brainer, but I still see tattoo artists trying to do portraits and they don't draw them. And this doesn't mean draw for, you know, a couple years. I've drawn portraits for a couple years so I can tattoo them. This means anytime somebody comes in and wants a portrait, draw that portrait first. Because if you draw it first, you're gonna, it kind of works as like a muscle memory with, you know, the shapes in the face and the shade, the tones and all that stuff. When you draw it first, it can only come out better when you're tattooing it. And that's the thing is, um, your tattoos can only come out really similar to how you can draw. So if you can't draw something, you probably can't tattoo it. I mean, that's a no brainer. Um, now, another thing with practicing and drawing them is, when you draw them, you improve your belief system. And that builds your confidence. So you know that you can do it just a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, tip number three. Do a test portrait first. If you took my portrait training course, you know what a test portrait is. If you don't, uh, basically what it is, is it's a portrait of something that's not really a face. So you can kind of get away with not doing it exactly the same, but it's still becoming a good tattoo, okay? Um, It'll help track where you're at as long as you're like honest with yourself. You know, if, if you do a flower and it doesn't come out looking exactly like the reference picture, neither will a portrait of a face. So, you know, it'll, it'll, tell, it'll give you a good idea on where you're at and how close you are to being able to, you know, do a photorealistic portrait, okay? So there's three tips. Do your research and educate yourself on how to do them and how others can do them. Number two, practice drawing them. And number three, do the test portraits first. Okay, so if you like this video, make sure to click the subscribe button below to get more of these videos. Also go to tattooingportraits.com. I got free resources on how to do portraits. And make sure you type in your name and email into my newsletter. That way you get all the exclusive email content that I send people. Um, you're missing out if you don't get that stuff. Um, and also comment below this video with what's holding you back. And think about if you could do portraits, what would that do for your life and your career? You know, I wanna hear it all, okay? So comment below what it would do for your tattoo career and your lifestyle. I'm interested to hear it all. Peace.